Hey guys, Zalonius here. Welcome to another video on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the latest content, but more so the content coming up. The World Cup update. EA have released quite a bit of info about it, and in this video, I'm going to break it down. I'm going to talk about what you can expect and how you can prepare for it. So normally on a Friday, I do a tier list of the latest content. There isn't really any content for the most part today. We do have this Season 1 review pack, so I'm going to open that. And then we do have some of these as well, like World Cup bundles, World Cup items. So here, there's, the World Cup bundle is five of the famous World Cup balls that we've had. So it's all the way, it's the last five basically. We've got the Brazil Brazuca, we've got the South Africa Jabulade, we've got the Adidas Team Guys from the Germany one, we've got the Korean Japan Fever Nova, and the France Tricolor. I think the Tricolor and the Jabulani are the two iconic ones. I'm going to buy the Jabulani one. I think it'd be cool to have that. Um, Jabulani is probably one of the most iconic footballs ever. Course keepers a lot of problems. So it'd be pretty cool to use that. Make sure when you buy any of these, if you are going to buy them, that you actually um, equip it in your stadium. So I'll definitely be doing that. We're going to open this pack now. One thing that EA did say in the last week that's interesting is that um, the out of position cards, SPCs, are going to be a year long thing in foot. So we're going to randomly throughout the year be getting those. This is untradeable, by the way. So you do have to bear that in mind. The odds of getting all these rule breakers is 48%. Interesting. I wonder why that one's so much more. That's quite high. And 90 plus players, 2.3%. Interesting. It's untradeable, but I've got some thief points. Why not? See if we get anything interested. Team of the Week's not very excited. I mean, De Vry, I mean, that probably means I'm not getting any good rule break or anything, though. But De Vry, I mean, an 86 team of the week. Decent for an SBC, I guess, at some point. Yeah, that was, um, that was a disgustingly bad pack. Definitely wasn't worth the 1,500 FIFA points. Oh, well, you live and learn. There you go, that's that pack. Let's actually now look at the deep dive from EA, though, and break down what we're going to be getting with the World Cup promo coming up. So EA released a deep dive video on YouTube looking into the World Cup. It's their World Cup deep dive trailer. We're just going to go through this video and look at some of the stuff in here so we can talk about it. And yeah, I mean, the intro bit here is basically just showing like different clips in FIFA, international teams, kits, obviously all like the fan base. And then they're going to show us some of the different modes that we can actually get in the game. And we'll watch the video. I'm going to talk through it. Okay, here, we're going to pause at this key bit here. So this is almost like the home page of when you load into FIFA, but for a World Cup one. So FIFA World Cup Live. Not entirely sure what that's going to mean. Did they go past it? I think that might be something to do with the actual games being played at the time. If we pause at the correct bits, load your FIFA World Cup, continue FIFA World Cup. So that might be where you actually like play the World Cup itself. I'm going to assume that's going to be against the AI. That would be my logical expectation of that. FIFA World Cup, a custom tournament. Now, that could be cool if you could do it online with friends and set one up, but I doubt they'll do that. That'll probably be something that you could set up yourself. I might run one of those and like do a predict the World Cup based off of uh, simming it like that. Uh, what's that middle one there, the FIFA World Cup? That one, I don't really know what's different with that one. Oh, kickoff, sorry. That one's just going to be like just a single match, like kickoff mode normally is. Online tournament. Yeah, I'm guessing that's just going to be playing online against other people using a team from the World Cup. Game modes, match day experience, all the two. I mean, this is just the type of stuff that EA generally talk about that we get. Said we're going to get a full season of World Cup content in Ultimate Team. Obviously, we're going to talk about more of that in the video. It's interesting that they've chose not to do like an Ultimate Team mode for the World Cup like previous years. I guess they didn't want to kill Ultimate Team in November, it being the big cash cow for EA. So I'm interested to see how it actually plays out. You can see their team celebrating the World Cup. As just said in this video, there's a single player tournament mode. You can play online. So 
So they're going to have all the actual qualified teams of the World Cup, as you'd expect. So this FIFA World Cup Live bit here is going to be all about following the World Cup Live and playing it in real time, playing the games as they're happening. So a featured quick play, choose any fixture, past or present, play a one-off match against local friends or against the AI. Cool, online quick play, same but online. Inherit a team's FIFA World Cup progress in the mode and write your own history. So let's say England had just got into the second round, you'd carry on from there basically by the looks of it. This is interesting. That's kind of an interactive Poland to Argentina nil. Don't think we'll see that score. But it's kind of an interesting way of following the World Cup, being more involved with it. I'd be surprised if Canada uh, do that well. So there's 15 additional nations. Ireland being one of them. There. It says unqualified that you can swap into the World Cup. That's kind of cool. There's going to be plenty of that, like Hungary, Ukraine there. There's going to be plenty of that art in there, though. My favourite World Cup game, I think, was 2010 South Africa one, where you could play as pretty much any nation in the world. I really liked that. You could qualify for the World Cup, then play the whole It was a separate game, though. This is interesting, though, way of following the World Cup. Pretty cool. I don't really play against AI at all, though. Well, I do it online. Maybe not too bothered. I'm probably more bothered about actually playing stuff in foot. This looks pretty cool, this match day experience. This is going to be the last official FIFA World Cup mode in the, in the EA game for a long time, probably, unless they suddenly do get the license back with FIFA since that partnership's breaking up at the end of this. There's going to be dedicated visuals, cinematics like this, dedicated World Cup commentary, so... It seems like EA have put a lot of effort into this, so I'm, I'm excited to see how it actually plays out. I like the international kits. Okay, World Cup and Albert team, this is what most of us are interested in. So, we've got a lot of different cards here. I imagine one of these at least is going to be a hero. This looks like icons. It'll probably be like World Cup, it'll probably be like Prime icons will come out now. What are these? Some of these are probably going to be dynamic, probably going to get more about that in the next few weeks. Okay, the general stadium stuff, like, I'm not too bothered about that, but maybe some people care about that. It's going to be daily content. They said these here, I've heard, are going to go towards like a World Cup swaps mode that you can utilize what you get in here um, to actually like do different uh, challenges in game to earn special bonuses. Gather World Cup players to earn all 10 reward levels at the end of the event. That almost looks like the sticker book that we had in the original foot for anyone old enough to remember that. Interesting here. Join the world objectives, pick a side, start earning votes towards your side. Apparently though, like seems like we're gonna get a lot of these where we can earn rewards using these like swap players, but you lose them at the end of it. So you can see there that they have like a green clock at the bottom of these World Cup cards. That means that at the end of the event, I can't remember the exact date. I think they did say somewhere, but at the end of the event, you'll lose that player from your club. I don't know if people will be buying these players or how you'll earn them exactly, but yeah, you don't get to keep these permanently. So they said that there's going to be slight special World Cup limited items that you'll be able to get players from nations of your choice towards your team. So it feels like they're very much going to be um, integrating the World Cup into foot still. There's going to be like special cards to do with the World Cup. I mean, we knew that for sure. You can see their heroes, Icon, Saw, Vola, Figo. They're going to do special versions of them during the World Cup. They was always going to do that. Special nations kits. We've got... 
Let's go back to that. We've got that. Uh, that's the Marvel World Cup thing. If you've got the um, special edition, you should get your uh, special player next week on Friday. If you pre-ordered in time, that is. Looks interesting. Very much looks like they're trying to integrate it all into foot. I'm not too bothered, really, about the outside of foot stuff. Personally, I'll probably have a little look at it. But yeah, honestly, it looks for the most part that if you're into that type of stuff, especially if you want to play your friends offline, that could be pretty fun. And then the foot stuff is going to be integrated in. There's going to be lots of daily content in foot around the World Cup, so the promos are going to be very alive. Interested, excited. I'm looking forward to it. The World Cup's the biggest sporting event in the world every year when it happens. Obviously, it's every four years, but you know what I mean. So I'm really excited for the World Cup. I'm excited to see what EA do with it in foot. Hopefully, get some cool promos. We'll probably get Path to Glory, Dynamic cards, Special Man of the Match cards. I'm interested to see what they do with Heroes and Icons. What do you guys think? Are you excited? Are you hyped for it? Let me know what you think in the comments. Appreciate you guys and the support of the channel. Peace.